What's up, everyone? Pizzles here. And, you know, sometimes people say that some things are too good to be true. Like my new album. It is too good and it's true. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. If you're a beginner and you want to learn how a synthesizer works and how the synthesis works in general, you can Google it online, you can check to YouTube, and of course you will learn it. But I guess the easiest so far way that I found, and I found it some time ago, so sorry for not bringing that up earlier, is on Ableton's website. Look what I found. I'll post the link in the description box down below, but have a look with me. When you dive into that website called learningsense.ableton.com, you will find a detailed lessons on how a synthesis works in general. And these are very simple and you can follow them step by step and it will take you from the basic ideas of what the volume is and how does it work to all the envelopes and LFOs and everything. So that's the first page, getting started making sounds. You just test your audio. For best experience, you should probably use headphones. So let's see how does this sound. Just the first step. Now, uh, you can read, obviously, you should read actually all the infos that's in it because that's how you learn. Next thing, how is, how does the amplitude work? Simple, yep, let's go next. And that affects a pitch. So as you see, very simple ideas at the beginning, then you will link them all together and then you'll be able to get the whole idea of how the synthesis works and how the synthesizer works in general. That will make your life easier while designing new sounds or playing with wavetable or serum or pigments, whatever synthesizer you love with, even with the hardware synthesizers, that just the theory and basics. So, as I mentioned, you want to read all of the info that is included on the website. Somebody worked really hard for that. Obviously, it's free and you can just open the website in your browser, on your computer, laptop, even on the mobile phone or tablet. Works either way perfectly. Just remember to use headphones. So here we actually have a little lesson on how the envelope works all together. We have the attack, decay, sustain and release and we can modify these to our liking and then we can press the play button to listen to it. This is a pitch envelope but basically amplitude envelope works exactly the same. So yeah, what's the next lesson? Modulating amplitude with envelopes. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Like if you want to do a really plucky sound, you will want a fast attack, fast decay, even like that. No sustain and no release. Maybe make it a bit longer. Now if you want a pad sound, like longer sound, we would want a long attack, longer decay, quite high sustain and long release. Okay, well, maybe not that long. You get the idea. So yeah, I guess that's it for me for today. Go onto the website and learn as much as you can. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.